The wait is over. It will manifest by December. That was the last reading that we had. I'll put it in the chat and the comments down there, not in the chat. Um, so make sure to watch it before you proceed to this reading, just so that we are caught up with the reads as it unfolds, okay? So judgment in Ace of Cups, definitely something is manifesting. So watch that first if you've missed the upload. This was just like a day ago, okay? So do check that out. So someone's going to express their feelings to you. There was a reason why it was December. So find out, okay? And if you're waiting for something to come up, then um, that might be a helpful read for you. Taurus, let's see what's going on here for you. I'll pick up the energy from that reading also. Ten of Cups, lovely, lovely time to become a, to be a Taurus right now, huh? It's a lot of action going on. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I'll explain the spread also how it works. Let's see here for my Taurus. There's a Wheel of Fortune coming out. Money and finances is about to improve also. Mm, climate. Mm. Let's see. Okay. This is the what is obvious, Taurus. What is obvious is you will tell me like, why does it sound like that's me? Like Sal is next to me the whole time. My life is unfolding. This is the what is obvious. Okay. But this is already obvious. What you don't know is behind the scenes. And this is this one. Okay. Let's see here. Behind the scenes. Okay. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Behind the scenes are things that affects your judgment or your situation. So before you make the choice, these are big factors. Mm-hmm. From both ends, from you and your person. It's the behind the scenes. I'll explain later. Further, let's begin. Bibidi babidi boo. Okay, here we go. You have the high priestess. Okay. Last time you have the hangman over here, which only means that there is a delay in communication. Um, you have thought and processed it. Okay. Um, but right now, you feel like, why would I be the one to express myself? The high priestess is very mysterious, uh, very mysterious. It refuses to speak even though it knows everything. So this is when you're in the situation in your life right now. It's like, well, I know what's going on, but I just refuse to say, you know. So it's more off for you. Okay, I'm going to sneeze, guys. Sorry. <coughs> sorry about that. Excuse me. Um, for you, okay, it's like, I just don't want to deal with this. Okay, this uh, this is the veil. Okay, not the veil. The, the cloak of the high priestess. This is her intuition. Actually, it's very watery because water is her intuition. And you can see here there is a moon. She is stepping partially on the moon because she refuses for things to be enlightened. She doesn't want to clear things right now because it's not yet the time. There's a reason. So the high priestess knows astrologically or timing wise when should I speak. It's not like the Hierophant. The Hierophant will speak regardless, which is that it's your card because it's speaking of the truth. So for you, it's like, I just want to keep things to myself for now. And once I'm ready to talk, I will. And once I'm ready to ask questions, I will. But for now, silence is, you know, silence is much better. And it's, it's actually even louder. They understand if I'm not talking, you know, because if I talk, they don't listen. And when I don't talk, they definitely listen. That's the magic of the High Priestess. Less is more. It's also my card of Google, which means like you're doing some research. Um, you could be a researcher or you're doing some project also. It is also the card of mystics and occult, um, which only means that you are a practitioner. So you do manifest behind the veil right there. Okay, so you do your, your um, prayers, your crystals, you know, all that jazz behind the veil. Okay, so you're a very interesting person behind the veil. Very, very mysterious. Next you have is the Empress. Ace of Swords was used to be uh, used to be here in the previous read. So the relationship or the connection right now, um, it's just unfolding. Okay. The Empress is you. Okay. The Empress is your card. And this card is about, sorry, yes. Um, is about the abundance and prosperity in your life. So this is actually a good card. Because right now, you feel that, you know what? Ever since I stopped dealing with them and I just focus on me, I started to enjoy life. You know, you start to have more, um, let's just say, balance. Okay, Because Venus, you know, natural, uh, I mean, the Lord of Lib uh, Libra, 
um, you know, it's about the balance or sense of, uh, you know, giving and receiving. So there's something right now in your life that you're enjoying and it's about, um, I feel like self-love. Okay. So the Empress also does her hair color. You know, she does her haircut. She's a beauty, for me, she's a beauty salon. So you may have done that recently. Okay. Now you can see here, she is in the comfort. Okay. This is not, this is the only chair out of all the cards in the tarot that has a cushion. Nobody else has a cushion. She has cushion on top of cushion. She has nice uh, what, velvet uh, pillows behind her. And she is about, um, you know, like luxury. She's also pregnancy. So you may be pregnant right now. Congratulations. She does astrology over here. Okay, so those are the 12 zodiac signs on top of her. So you could have probably read your chart or you're, and you're trying to understand your chart or you're just looking at different predictions in the sky. So this is that one. So you feel good right now. This is like um, eating good and eating healthy also, Taurus. Wonderful. Now, Venus is a, um, of course, it's about relationship and partnership. You're manifesting that, okay? So right now, your focus actually is like, I wanna bring in love, I wanna have a relationship, but it doesn't mean I'm gonna talk about it and just keeping it to myself. I'm ready, I want it, because uh, Venus brings pleasure also. So that's that one, okay, good. All right, so you have someone who's constantly wondering what you're doing, okay? So this is this comes your person, okay? Um, one second. One second, guys. Sorry, guys, that's an important delivery. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry for the interruption. Well, it only means like something in your life will be interrupted. Okay. And Mars in Taurus right now, you will feel like there are things that you're going and doing, and then you keep in getting interrupted. Mars brings that. Okay. So, tough ones. And as a Taurus myself, mm, a lot of interruption. Tough ones over here. So your person right now, Taurus, is wondering, you know, it's like, what are you doing? Okay. Um, you know, like, this is the option. This is the card. Uh, um, how to say this? Uh, this is the part where you have this vision. Okay. You, you, you. But they also have a vision. Okay. Because they hold the world over there. This is a decision about to reach out to you. One is already planted. Okay. One is already planted. Um, so... In essence, it's like, I'm already here. I want to talk to you. I want to see you. And I'm not going anywhere. The card before for you here was, let me see, the Ten of Swords. So this person gave up before. They didn't want to deal with this anymore. But for whatever reason, this person is turning things around. Two of Wands over here. And looking at you. Because the thing is, your silence is golden, Taurus. You not talking. You not doing anything, basically. It's not like you're ignoring them. Um, intentionally, it's more of, uh, how to say this, I'd rather do this right now. This is for me. So you're doing the glow up, you're doing the work, and your person, of course, sees it. And it's like, what is up with the Taurus? It's like, they used to be probably, I don't know, if you're a chaser, then you chased before. But now it's just like, I'm, I'm not doing that, you know. I'm a grown person, and it's like, for me to chase, it's like, no, 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 no. I put effort, you know, in me. So next, you have here is a Ten of Wands. So last time, it was a Two of Pentacles. This person is always telling you, it's like, I'm busy, right? This person is always telling you, it's like, I can't. I changed my mind, you know? So right now, they feel oppressed with the change that you have. Each one is the one that they made a decision of. Like, when they didn't want to talk to you, when they blocked you in the seven of wands, when they tried to show, it's like, well, I'm fine, six of wands, you know, I see other people. And then, of course, you know, they got hurt with the nine of wands. They feel like, oh, so the Taurus doesn't care anymore. So part of your person, I feel like, has this mixed kind of feeling want you, doesn't want you. So there can be very in and out of your life, okay? The Ten of Wands is a card of responsibility. Your person always takes responsibility for everything, but besides the relationship. They're always too busy for the connection because they have the Two of Pentacles in the previous read. But, you know, like, but this is their own doing. It's like they never gave, you know, you time, importance, you know, they never put you as a priority. So you made yourself priority, right? And then now they're seeing the result of their action 
you know, it's like for them, it's like, well, that's a bummer. You know, it's like, I took care of everything. I missed out on this one. And now you're looking like not just a snack, a whole entree, Taurus. Okay. The Ten of Wands is a card of bringing home the bacon. Yes, the Two of Pentacles was their card before, which only means that, yes, probably they work a lot and they have a side hustle. They care, take care of, uh, what, their family and then your, their siblings, you know, all this jazz. They take care of their friends. The problem is you were not part of the taking care of. You were taken for granted. See? Then you have the Queen of Cups over here. Let me see. The card before is a Knight of Cups. So they're a little bit on the, how to say this, like walking away and then coming up bigger and better. And it's like, no, 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 I'm here. No, 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 I care about you. No, 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 I'm a Queen of Cups. You know, it's like, I understand. I appreciate you. I want to express my feelings to you. That's a Queen of Cups. So now here they come again. Uh, so you will be confused. Now what I need you to do, Taurus, is like be nonchalant about it. Not that you don't care, but observe. You know, it's like your silence is golden. Your silence is way, way much better here. Okay? This is, uh, this is a card where you hold your ground with the high priestess. They're coming with, uh, I believe, 24, 25, 26, the moon is in Cancer right now. Yes, because the new moon is in Leo. So then this person, chances are because the Queen of Cups is here, this Cancer card. Right now, 24, 26, you will see them, okay, um, express... Okay, you get Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, and it's your third house. Uh, third house is the birth of desire. So in essence, you know, if you're dealing with someone, there can be a desire for you to communicate, but there's also a desire from them. Okay, so the feeling is mutual. So 24, 24, 26, okay? Because 26 is the new moon. In Leo, say, dear guys, please do not switch me to Western, you know. Um, I don't go both ways, just saying. Okay. <laughs> I do say the Vedic, okay? So, so you can keep your Western, I keep my Vedic. Oh, thank you. So with the Queen of Cups over here, um, it is showing that's like emotions building up, you know, and it's, it's at 24 right now, and your person is just can't stop thinking about you. It's the birth of desire. They want you right now. And this is becoming a burden because you are not going to respond. They know that. They did this. Then you have the Five Pentacles. Before it was a Four of Wands. Before, they say it's like, oh, I don't want this. By the way, the last card last time in the previous read, if you're going to watch it, it's the High Priestess here. High Priestess is here now. So things has moved on. You've moved on, Taurus. Okay, from here, High Priestess now is here. If they were the one not talking to you before, now it has reversed. Okay, because why? You have found peace and happiness as an empress. This is being empowered. Knowing yourself. When you know yourself... Mm -mm. There is no man great enough for you to chase or women or whatever you want. Okay, so five pentacles and four of wands right now. It's it's crickets in the relationship. This is the card of suffering in the cold. You know they can reach out, but they don't. But of course you're suffering also. You're not talking to them. This affects you. Of course you love them, right? I mean you're here, you know, but not as more more than you love yourself. So five of pentacles over here. You see this is outside actually of the four of swords. All right, so four of swords is contemplating. Five Pentacles outside of that is this beggar, okay? Now, the beggar over here will reach to a point, you know, like they would ask for help because the Six of Pentacles will come. So the Five will go to the Six, but right now, they refuse to ask for help. This is the person who's asking for help, okay? Um, they would later on. So right now, it's like, okay, you know, like they're going to soak onto this. And your last card over here is Eight of Cups. They know that they have pushed you away. They know that you gave it all. So how do they bring you back? Because the Eight of Cups here is Mars. And Mars over here, okay, this is the movement right now. It's like you're dissatisfied. You're Mars in Taurus right now. Sidereal, guys. And it will, uh, it will go retrograde also. Uh, well, it's already, um, it's about to. Okay, it's going to stay there um, until, uh, I think, November-ish. Okay, November-ish. All right. So for you right now, you're driven, you're motivated to do you. Okay. This is the eclipse also. Um, this is water over here. So you find yourself emotionally drained right now. Um, this is the golden staff that the hermit also have. So you're trying to seek wisdom. You're trying to understand what has happened in this connection because I don't feel driven anymore. So it's like luck luster. You used to be all about them. You used to be, I want to talk to you. But they pushed you so far. They put you in the no priority area in the airport that you just don't care anymore, you know? And there it is, Eight of Cups. Now, I'm not sure, okay, if you want to reply to them or text them or whatever, but for right now, you're there, okay? 
So behind the scenes, something here triggered you, right? Behind the scenes of the Five Pentacles, there's a reason why you're not talking and they're not talking. But this can be broken by this, right? Because something can happen behind the scenes that the silence will be broken. Yes. Um, so, so far, okay, between, you know, all this behind the scenes, what is consistent here is that your person can communicate, but they refuse to. So there is stubbornness on their end. Okay, wow. Took long here. Well, I extended your time because, sorry about the interruption. Okay. Okay, let me see. Let's see here. Okay. So the high priestess, you're keeping things to yourself. I want to know, okay, if you're keeping things to yourself, then they're keeping things from you also. So it goes both ways there. Okay, so I want to see what's your secret and what's their secret right now, intention-wise. Empress over here, of course, this is the love, the relationship that you're manifesting. Two of Wands is they're pondering, they're Googling, they're also stalking you with the Two of Wands. What do they want from you right now? And then this burden, okay, because normally this is going to push them to talk to you. Let's see if they're going to talk to you because it's uh, becoming more, pre uh, adding pressure, okay, with them. Queen of Cups over here, they do love you a lot. They think about you. Let's see what is the extent. Will they um, offer relationship to you with that? Five of Pentacles over here, you know, like uh, suffering in silence, the two of you. If you guys communicate, what will happen? Eight of Cups. As you walk away, is this like goodbye permanent? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. We're not done. Okay. So this is the grand reveal. We answer more of your question in the description box below. But I do suggest you watch first the previous reading. It's also in the in the comments down there. That way, you know, you get the whole gist of the story. Okay. High Priestess used to be here, which only means that for you, you know, it's like, I just don't want to express myself right now. Okay. So let's see. So this, you know, like how we always, the end of no contact. I feel like this is the start of no contact. Oh. <laughs> so it's different. Okay. Now let's see here. To top it off, eight of coins, work, and two of ones. So two of you are wondering who will make the move. Okay. Who will make the move and start working on the connection? Who? You or them? Okay, two is a crossroad, two is partnership. Then we'll see an extended link down there in the description box below. Make sure to check out everything in our website. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'll see you guys again. Bye.